Jesus. Hope can give certainty, assurance, a song in one's heart, even amidst life storms. But um, I'll just close with, I was listening to an audiobook, and I do that sometimes when I'm walking or whatever, um, by Max Licato, and it was on, on Unshakable Hope. And one of the things that really struck me when, um, when the narrator was reading the book was he said, where there is prayer, there is hope. And so I leave you with that, that you know, we aren't always going to feel it in our hearts, we're not always, you know, but where there is prayer, there is hope. So I thank you um, for your time and attention this afternoon and being such a gracious audience. And I'm certainly happy to ask and answer questions if you have any. Or, did your little nephew live? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, 42 days he was in a coma. And um, they started to see signs of, you know, like um, reflex movements and stuff. And on day 42, we had everybody, all our prayer chains and all the churches that we all attended, he sat up and he went like this. Like, you want to brush his teeth? <laughs> And by God's grace, you know, it was a, he was, I wasn't there at, for this, but my brother said, you know, he would sit with him at night and he, his brain like totally rewired itself, you know, so he would be doing all kinds of weird math calculations in his head. He's 11, right, you know? And um, seven years later, my family and I went out to his high school graduation and, um, you know, he graduated at the top of his class and he is now a molecular <laughs> And yeah, he's a gem. He's the sweetest. You know, he knows he's here for a purpose. So wow. he's got a very special place in my heart. Yeah, and only God can do something like that. Yeah, and then my mom's hope. I don't know where she got it. So yes, he did. Anybody else? I'm sorry I didn't get back to that. <laughs>